I got caught stealing at Burbank Cards. I'm in a lot of trouble. Caught him stealing red-handed all of the deals. I'm taking over the showcases. There are just so many good deals in there. He was destroying our cases. There's bullet holes. I literally just walked back in here. 19, this card is one of the hardest cards to grade, besides a PMG, in my opinion. Flare Showcase Row 2. AG Legacy Row 0. Barkley Mint 9 Legacy. Corey Seager, I bet you haven't seen that one before. I haven't. So we got Bedard and SGC 9.5. It's kind of a cool card of Acuna, nice and early. 17 Heritage Miners. We got a Juan Soto, Triple Threads. Relic Auto to 99. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Have you seen that card before? I've never seen this card in my life. On card autograph, Luca and LeBron on the same card. Yeah, I've never seen anything that even looks this like card's it. It's insane. Bill Russell. That seems reasonable. 400 bucks. Not bad. Origins. Troy Aikman rookie card. Tough grade with the green borders and such. Oh, my God. What is that? What the hell? No way. He just put this on my desk. I, I mean, hasn't been rebagged. No nothing. Way. That's crazy, right? 2001, 2002 Ultimate Collection Signatures. Dude, you haven't seen these cards yet, right? You've been here. Much, I mean... How much is that? 55? 5K. Exactly. Nailed it. Oh, wow. We got a big Wemby. The Red Hall of You. No! Jesus. I mean, literally, I was out of the office for 15 minutes. I walked back here, and this was the stack that was on my desk. Are you kidding me? Ryan's a lunatic. Oh my God. That is like his full name autograph right there. Like that, that, that's, that, insanity. It, that's actually insane, the autograph. Look at that, it's yeah. better than most. And this is the type of stuff that'll go in the sneak preview showcase tomorrow for graded. So always fresh stuff at Burbank. Again, if I leave my office just for a couple minutes, he'll put a stack of stuff on my desk and usually it's insane. Rob's gonna be really mad at me because there's two things. First, he has a DeMarcus Cousins autograph card in there, and that's my PC. He doesn't want me to buy all the cards in the showcases, but I want to buy everything. We're gonna make Rob's life hectic today. That Moff Gideon right there. I like that Jar Jar Banks, because it's hilarious. That Angel Reese, let's try that. And then up here, let's get that Verlander. It's Drew Brees, white selects, beautiful. And then, oh yeah, we'll grab this. Peyton Manning, are you kidding me? Look at that. With Derek Carr, Phillip Rivers, Aaron Murray. All right, we'll take that. They're killing it right now. Crushing it right now. Look at that Curry, I wish. Look at that. Very sweet. With the gold refractors? Yeah. T-Mac. This card is just really hard to gem. That's why it's $7,500 in a 10. You usually see like nines, eights. Don't blink or you'll, or you'll miss. It's out of 100. Wow, this card's insane. Yeah, Kobe Bryant. Oh, I'm curious what Pop is. I got you, yeah. Nine. We're in LA. And we got the Dodgers right there. Check this out. Clayton Kershaw gold refractor. First, or not first Bowman. I guess it's the rookie. Loading up for our whatnot stream, so. As you can see, the cards I'm buying between 25 and like 120 right now. Just gotta grab that. I said in the video, sports card prices are dropping, and it's true. You know who's not going down? Demarcus Cousins, and he's not going up either. <laughs> we have messed up the last 15 games have just been a mess. Malik Monk got hurt. We have a lot of injuries. So obviously I love the new guys, Sabonis and Fox, but I always collect DeMarcus. So that was a cool find in here. I'm gonna buy those cards to sell, but this is PC. Like I'm not gonna sell this. It's, I got it from Burbank's, my first DeMarcus card I've ever like found here in an auto. What is this? No, it opens. Oh my God, it opens. 10 out of 10, Darryl, Darryl Revis. That's sick. That Kodak black and offset. Let me see that. He signs it, Bill. An offset. This is a grail right here. One of one Aaron Rodgers. Jets uniform, Super Fractor Auto. What do you guys think about the Jets? I think Super Bowl, what do you think? Playoffs. Playoffs. I don't know about Super Bowl. He's gotta be healthy. You snagging all the best deals again, Mojo? Nice card. Can I work this off? No. Please. No. Your time isn't worth that. <laughs> Rob's got jokes. Oh, Gosh. Yeah. What is this, Giannis? There's no way he signed this. Rob, you know what Andrew told me? What did Andrew tell you? He said if I buy you out, it means you have to work harder. Buy me out. I'm not some dude at a, at a show with two showcases. You're buying me out. You're buying all my showcases. So. How, mu how much do you think it, How much do you think's here? I don't know. I don't know, but if you, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. People love Messi. We'll take that. Robert Downey Jr. Oh my. Exquisite. Keen Velasquez Gold. Free cane, bro. Jake the snake out of 10. Gentlemen, the $5 slabs are back at Burbank. Here they are, five bucks. Who's looking for John Skelton? Five bucks. 
Soccer at Burbank is was not on my bingo card list today. I'm telling you that. No, it's, Rob doesn't usually put it on. I put it on. It's LeBron purple is kind of sick. Look at Dwayne Wade's rookie card. 50 bucks now. This used to be like two, three hundred bucks. That's crazy. LeBron James numbered. This this is like a sneaky. What a sneaky play this is. Just was watching a video about these guys. Look it up. Bald Vinny. Look up the bleacher creatures. These guys call out the players. And they do a roll call. They did it with Juan Soto during opening day. That is a buy. All this flawless stuff goes well. So Topps does this partnership with the MLB. Their connection with the MLB is unbelievable. So the MLB and Topps are gonna create some like cool stuff like this for us to enjoy. So come on. Javier Baez, this Otani number. These are all great for our whatnot streams. Sell these starting at a dollar. Gaylord Perry, one of the best, rest in peace. Nice Jackie Robinson, changed baseball forever and did some amazing things off the field, obviously. Talked about the KB. Love a flawless on card, Javi Lopez. This is cool, Rafael for call, I remember him. DL Murphy, one of the best grass in the game. Nestor Cortez, fellow card collector. Labor Torres, nice patch autos. Nick Chubb, George Springer auto. Who we got, George Valera. Andrew Benintendi, wasn't crazy about him, but the card in red ink right there is pretty cool. The We Believe patch with Brandon Marsh is unbelievable. Frank Viola. Donovan Mitchell, game worn, dude. We're always looking for game worn. Guys, honestly, look for cards that have the jersey and look on the bag. And if it says game worn, you gotta trust them. Game worn. James Harden, that's sick. Man, John Morant rookies are 10 bucks now. It's crazy. Look at that shot. Carmelo Anthony, Chrome rookie. Sheesh. Dronkowski is a game worn. Player worn. We're not buying it. Derek Carr out of five. Are you kidding me? Joe Burrow napkin. Charles Haley auto. Past and present. Russell Wilson did not fulfill that. No, he did not. The singles here are insane. I'm literally sweating. It's so hot in here. I'm buying right now. Well, I hope so. Yeah? You know, we got air-conditioned comfort here. We got the lights on for you, you know, and uh, we can roam the, you know, the house here and uh, we're giving you, we let you go to the bathroom once in a while, you know. <laughs> we give you free water, you know, cheapest. What else do you want? I'll take the cards. Thank okay. you, Steve. Honey Brown and Ted Gann. Jambalaya. It's a great looking card. Bought a bunch from Burbank and I used my store credit. So I had 1610 credit and we got our totals down and now I owe them how much? 2800 2800 flat. I owe $2,800 to Burbank. Absolute steals, as you guys can see. Rob the place. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, they have the best deals here. High powered singles. Ryan's always buying. Rob's obviously doing what he's doing. Dream team here, and they get it done at Burbank. And I love dealing with them. So, Rye, thanks for the deal. Yep. Hi, bro. Pay this man. I keep sports with sports. Best stuff, highest price stuff on top. 86 Fleer, which I'm probably going to show to Rob. Make sure that it's, you know, some if it's something he wants. And then uh, 96 UD3 Iverson. All right. Why don't we take that to Rob? Yeah, it's real, but it's low grade. It's got soft corners. Yeah, it's not something that's gonna sell all that quick. 10 seconds, he's, he just knew the card was like not in the greatest condition, just boom. Yeah, it's a low grade card. You can see how white it is, it's low grade. It's like VG, it basically sold for 10 bucks. So, I mean, you know, figure we pay five for it. It's a really tough card to sell. So you can sell them, tell them they sell for about 10 bucks would be a buyer at five. There okay. Condition. okay. All right, I got there you. There you go, boom. Take it out. Soft sleeve. Price and you're it. pricing it right now, just boom. Yeah, process. it's easy. It's easy, it'll go into the basketball. New Arrival Raw Showcase. Somebody can get that signed, right? For a private sign or Yeah, you yeah. can actually go put this into the Raw New Arrival Showcase. All right, let's see it. So this is good. all happening right, like, let's this is it. like one, two, three. And there it is. I really like this roll pack. Gary Wilson's always good. Deadpool. It's a really cool looking card. I used to own that right there, Juju Watkins. That used to be mine. You've got the PSA bags ready. This is stuff that literally got bought yesterday. All I'm doing is making sure they're in fresh bags, like this one right here. Is in a crappy bag. They got to go into nice, clean, tight bags. Again, it's merchandising. It's making things look right. They put post-it notes on what they pay for the stuff. Then it just goes in stacks. Then they'll price this box. And I got this box as well done this morning. Boom. So these were all freshly bagged. When Ray or Jordan is in and they're not buying, they'll get all these tagged with pricing. Then you'll be able to buy them. But this stuff was literally bought yesterday. Getting through it, fresh price bags. It. They'll price it. A lot of it will go out either today or tomorrow for sure. Boom. Boom. Semi Valley cards. What are we picking up? 223 Series 1. 42 bucks. It's a personal rip. It's not for the shop. 
Personal rip. Personal Who? rip. 42 okay. bucks. Gotta love, do it. Love to see it. And shout out the shop. Where you guys at? Simi Valley. Simi Sports Cards. Simi Valley. 2345 Erringer Road. Follow us on Instagram at Simi Sports Cards. He's bagging and watching baseball. Is it any better than this? I love cards. I love the history of cards. I love buying cards, selling cards, organizing cards. You got to love it. To do what we do here, you got to have a passion for it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Just some cool stuff. You know, Dak, rookie to 49. That's really cool. That's a nice card. Yeah, just cool random stuff. Price points. But yeah, it's what I do all day. My hands never stop all day. It's just cards. It's cards. It's cards. It's cards. It's just you cards. You are... You got a problem. I do have a problem. Well, the people always wonder, like, how often you post on IG. Like, when do you decide to put something on IG? When you have something like this. And what is this? Uh, what is this? About three, a little over 300 slabs from yesterday. When I say Burbank has the best steals, because obviously, you know, I'm trying to get some steals here. What does that mean to you? Knowing that you guys are pretty affordable and competitive with everybody else. You're well, doing something that's not being done around the country. Well, I think it just comes down to you want people coming in more often than they want. You have people coming in from greater distances than they probably want to drive. And to do that, you have to have incredible selection. You got to be competitive on price and you got to be able to buy this type of stuff. You know, it's like you go into shops, not a lot of shops buy at any kind of scale. So you can walk in here with no money and sell a pile of cards to my guys and all of a sudden have some liquidity to put into these cards. Ray and Jordan and Ryan price them right and we move a ton of them. And we need to keep selling things because we're not like an endless bank, you know. Um, we there is not there is a finite amount of cash in this place, so we need to sell things very quickly to pour into new stuff. And nobody wants to go to the same place to see the same stuff. People drive here from all over, so we need to make sure it's worth the trip. 2003 UD top prospects, and it says mentor and learners, Kobe LeBron. Kind of like you and me. Kind of like me and you. Huh. That's really cool though. I bought a lot of cards today. Um, I didn't buy everything, but we want to get new stuff out there. So tell me what we have here. What are so we this is basically one of the raw boxes that we bought yesterday. And so my job here is to go through it and to get it broken down by sport with any of the better stuff that we get. I kind of put it to the side there so the guys can price it individually. Baseball, basketball, football. So these will fill up with all the fresh buys. Then we'll work on this at some point. Mike Tyson. Look at that. L.A. De La Cruz. Those are huge. You know, Donovan Mitchell, Otto. This is the kind of stuff that I put to the side, and then I'll fly through this stuff and break it down. Like, this is all basketball. So the first step, I can't really work on anything until it's broken down by sport. So that's the key thing. Get your better stuff to the side. Whatever the, whatever the priority is, is always what my hands are on first. All these graded cards. That was a priority. Then the next priority is getting the, the um, raw by sport and getting this box set where I can give them to the guys where they can start processing those immediately. Will all the raw that you just put like that Cade Cunningham and mm -hmm. all the raw rookies, this is all showcase stuff, right? None well, of this will go to the warehouse. Well, no, I, this is just bought. So a lot of this will go to the warehouse. Um, most of what goes over here goes to the warehouse. Everything that sticks in this place will be the premium stuff. Okay. The, the other stuff's gonna be what fills in my 23 tops heritage or my 21 prism basketball some of the stuff that's in magnets now this stuff's not good enough to go in the showcases it'll go next door not quite sure i mean the magnet's worth more than the card there's cards like this sitting in there Shit, wow. that they've already priced and a lot of times when ray and jordan are buying cards and they know what they paid for them they'll quickly get a double un underline on it so i know that's what to price it at and put it out pricing this at 500 if it has a double that's line. going out of 500 that's going out of three grand wow that card's an unbelievable yeah game worn dude i mean that's a that's a banger i mean that just literally is sitting in the box that they paid this for it and then i'm gonna sit there i'm gonna get it fresh for them nice and clean they'll know what they paid for and what to market at. So they haven't double underlined these So like, yet. example, you paid 75, 120. So you could put that at like 150, make some profit. Put that at like 175, make profit. Just like pricing it out yourself, you would make the yeah, decision. Yeah, I don't, I don't make those decisions. They go straight back to Ray and Jordan and Ryan. I'm all about presentation. And I think that's what separates professional retailers from dealers. In my mind, I think, man, my first thought is, how do I not run out of cards? 
it seems like you have such a proof system because you guys are buying at such a high volume that you will never run out of cards. Is this true? We're known as the biggest buyer of singles in the country. So there's always going to be that flow. People walk in, put their name on a list. We call them and it's their turn. I think that's unique in the industry. So we're always going to buy cards. Ryan's actually going to the premiere show this weekend, setting up to buy. And our plan is to get a buying team out to the major card shows um, at some point this year consistently. So you used to say that you weren't like as into the card shows, but what, what made you make that change to want to go to card shows and set up and buy? Um, I'm not into doing card shows to sell. It's not really our model. We have a, you know, a seven day a week card show here. We don't need to set up at a couple tables. We need more than a couple tables. But to buy is a whole different story. And we kind of changed the game at the Burbank show in Ontario where people were giving us their name and phone number and we were texting them when it was their turn to sell, which I think it has never been done before. And they did about 175 to 180 different deals at that booth over the two days they were set up. So if we can replicate that in different parts of the country, I think that will take the store to the next level. You're ready to get the pallets ready like at the old school national days, right? Yeah, yeah maybe, you know. Um, you know, liquidity is everything. And if we can put more money onto show floors across the country, I think that's good for everybody. 2024 national in Cleveland. How are we feeling about that? Uh, the national is the premier event in the industry. Um, it's the most important couple days really on the calendar for the entire hobby. Um, you know, it's the, the thing that bothers me really is it just has ignored the West Coast, which is kind of a bummer. Not really excited about flying to Cleveland, but I'll be excited when I get there and see all my colleagues, fellow dealers, people in the industry. Um, it's a great four days to kind of get away from here and just see people I don't see all the time and see cards I don't see all the time. And, uh, you know, we're probably going to be doing some serious buying there. So we'll be figuring that out as well. Um, but the national is that big event you circle on the calendar and get excited about. So let me ask you, if it's someone's first national card show, you got to give them some tips, maybe like one or two tips. What would you give them? What advice? I think that the national is overwhelming as far as the amount of dealers, amount of inventory. I recommend walking the show floor first, first thing, and having a sheet or putting it in your phone or whatever and grading the tables where you walk by a table and you're like, oh my God, I wanna see this table. Sometimes you get stuck at a table and you never get to see the rest of the floor, but by quickly going down the aisles and right in town, oh, booth number 810, that's an A, I need to get back to this one. But going through the aisles and maybe there's eight tables at that show that you need to be at, but you don't wanna waste your time going down aisles. If you wanna get first crack at things, my opinion is get those um, three or four tables you need to be at and get those right away and, and identify those right away. That's what I would do with Ryan, going to the shows and buying pallets was walk that floor real quick. There's 12 booths that we need to do damage at. Let's grade them. Let's go through the cards real quick. This is an A. This is a B. These are the ones we really need to see and go about it accordingly because... Otherwise, you're overwhelmed and you'll never get to some of the tables that you should have got at first. Rob, I did something you'll be very proud of me. Oh, okay. I brought my own two row, so I don't have to take all yours. Nice. I'm sad that you can only fill a two row. It's, it's kind of weak, man. Should have brought a triple. If well, you were the man. I backed my car in the back, so. If you were the man, you would have brought a triple shoe. Listen, Come on. I, ba I backed my car in the front, so if I have to load it, I will. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Daddy wants to go to Outback. $30 Kevin Stevens rookie. I'm basically sorting out the last two days, what goes into the alphabetical and what goes back into the library. Man, Rick, Rick's really important for these showcase updates. I'll tell you that, Rob. That's why they call him Showcase Rick. Jordan's in the house. Million dollar question, is it game used? Yes. It is, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys welcome to the fishbowl? These used to be a hit, these cheaper slabs. Um, you know, not as crazy as they used to be. Usually there's always people in here, so it's mainly just for like wax, Pokemon, others. This Series 2 Hockey, $13 a pack. My question for you guys, and we're talking about Wemby and Bedard a lot. Do you think Bedard goes up or down? We talked about it in my live stream, but I'm curious. Would you pay $13 for a pack of this? And is the Bedard rookie card, right now it's it's trending between 1,000 and 1,200 for a PSA 10, we'll use that as the beginning. July 20th, right, before, right near the national, what price do you think the Connor Bedard PSA 10 will be worth? I'm gonna guess the card's gonna be $750 by the national. And I'm saying it's going down, but I think he's an awesome talent. 
but we'll see. The focus I really have been on with my collecting journey has been to find a PC, a team or a player. And I challenge everybody out there, find a team or a player that you really like. And also find a card shop that you like. When I talk about steals here at Burbank, I am talking about good deals. There's a deal for everybody because at the end of the day, if you're a collector, you're always gonna find something like that you could go home with that you, you really want for your collection. If you're a flipper or an investor, you might find the, the investor is going to find something to take a chance on and buy at a good time. And the flipper is going to buy something that week and hope the next week they can sell it, which can be a gamble, which clearly the gambling part of it is all risky. Like last year, this time we were buying Desmond Ritter and Sam Howell, majority of our community. And look what happened there. But also I was buying Aaron Rodgers, DeMarcus Cousins, Sacramento Kings, and I got to reap the rewards and enjoy having a PC. With the balance in this, you saw, you guys have seen in my purchases, I picked up a lot of stuff that I'm gonna put on our WhatNot stream starting at a dollar. And you guys gotta tap in there. I don't own a card shop, but that is the online card shop for me. And then I bought like the Josh Young Logo Fractor Auto for my PC. And it's something I've really just wanted to own. And I think it's really cool. So I decided to buy the Josh Young and that balances out the, f the flipping versus the collecting. Here, like if you want to look at LeBron James cards, they have LeBron James cards, Stephen Curry cards, Michael Jordan. Thing about Burbank is they have the ability to say yes here. So if you're looking for certain cards or if you're trying to join this hobby for the first time, I highly recommend finding that card shop that you like that's gonna take care of you. You're gonna find deals, but they also treat you with respect and they're good to the other people, right? Rob's customer service and team, they're very good with the people, they're great with the kids, and that's how it should be. Experience at a card shop should be inviting, it should be fun, it should be unique, there should be entertainment. And that's why card shops have trade nights, they bring athlete appearances. That's why Thompson Fanatics is doing the hobby rip nights kind of brings things together. So I want to see more of that in shops. So if your local card shop's not doing that, it might not be your local card shop. So that's key. And if you don't have a card shop, that's kind of tough. But I am curious if your local card shop is like, you love it so much, I want to know what shop it is and why. Cause I want to, maybe one day I can check it out and film a video there. So comment that down below. Where are you from? Uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. And how'd you learn about Burbank cards? Uh, well, I sell cards for a living, so. Um... You know, it goes hand in hand, doesn't it? And wait, wait, you guys know each other through like the internet and you just met for the first time. Yeah. yeah. But you're both from New Zealand. Yeah. Meet, we meet in Burbank Sports that, Cards. So. That is, that's crazy. <laughs> Where else, man? That's Where else? That's sports cards though. Dude, that is. It's community, man. Whether, that's cool. How many miles away is that? I don't know, but it's 13 hours, isn't it? 13 hours. hours? Yeah, 12 hours, 13 hours. And what's the card scene like in New Zealand? It's growing. It's getting bigger and bigger, right? Eh? Is it? It's pretty big? And a lot of shops and all yeah, that, or? There's two shops. Only Tom, two Tom shops? City Sports two shops one of them. the entire country. <laughs> the entire yeah. country, there's two shops. Wow. And Paul's got one of them. Yeah. You have one? Yeah, yeah. And shout it out, what is, yeah, which one Tom, is it? Tom City Sports Cards, so again. Oh, let's go. That's us. All right. I'm gonna come out, if I'm in New Zealand, I will be there. Oh, you'll be and then do you have an Instagram for cards or uh, no account? No. Okay. This is the craziest thing though. Literally, this wasn't planned. <laughs> Two different folks randomly at Burbank Sports Cards at the same time from New Zealand. Absolutely <laughs> nuts. It's always a pleasure having you. Of course, my favorite influencer, especially when you drop that kind of money. <laughs> ah, there he goes. Had a good time, man. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure, we'll my brother. We'll see you for the next one. Let's go. Let's go. It's gonna be a great year, guys. 2024, spending pretty much every week here. If I'm not at a show, I'm always at Burbank. Best hobby shop in the business and my local card shop, which I can't beat. I always wanted to say that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe. I wanna say thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. We crossed that barrier and I need you guys for the next 50K. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more content. And also, last but not least, we are live on WhatNot every single week. I'm going to be live uh, twice a week. Use my link down below and get your first $10 spent on me. And lastly, you want to protect your cards, use the Zion case. Use my code MOJO10. We'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.